has been saying to us, Christ, our life. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 4. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Christ is our life. Blessed be God. Just a thought causes the power of God to course through my being. We are not ordinary. When you receive Christ, something actually transpired. The life and nature of God was imparted to your spirit. You no longer have the human life. You have the Christ life, the divine life. This was the Apostle Paul's summation when he declared, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, in this body, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. What an overwhelmingly deep-seated conviction. Paul referenced the same thought in Colossians chapter 3, verse 10, when he said that as new creations, we put on the new man who's been renewed in knowledge after the image of Christ. In other words, the more you learn about him and experience him in knowledge, the more he's expressed in and through you. That's Christian growth. When the knowledge of the divine life in you sinks into your spirit through meditation, it becomes your constant consciousness. It becomes your practice, experience, and way of life. How could anything go wrong with your liver, heart, or kidney when Christ is your life? The Bible says, if Christ is in you, even if your body were dead or ravaged by sickness or disease because of sin, the Spirit gives it life because of righteousness, the life and nature of God in you. Romans chapter 8, verse 10. The depraved, defeated, destroyed, and broken human life has been supplanted by the Christ life, the divine life of righteousness, honor, peace, and glory. Glory to God. Please say this confession with me. Christ is my life. Christ is my righteousness. Christ is my wisdom. Christ is my all. Christ in me is the hope of glory. Today, I fully express the essence of my divine nature, impacting my world with the righteousness, honor, peace, and dominion of Christ. Hallelujah. For further study, please read Colossians chapter 1, verses 26 to 27, Colossians chapter 3, verses 3 to 4, and Romans chapter 8, verses 10 to 11 of the English Standard Version. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 10, verses 1 to 23, and Genesis chapters 31 to 33. For the